What's up? It's your boy G. Vaughn. It's your boy Lavish T. We got a special guest here right now. Hey! Queen. It's the Queen. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Rod Digger. What up? <laughs> What's good? What's good? Yeah. Thanks for showing up. So how did you get? How did you get into hip hop? Um, I have been rapping since shit, like nine years old. I think the first time I picked up a pen. I, I um. So when the Roxanne Wars were going on. And Shantae responded to UTFO. And then the real Roxanne responded to Shantae. So I took my little Radio Shack tape recorder and caught myself, yeah, caught myself responding to the real Roxanne as if I was Shantae's sister. I just inserted myself in these uh in the situation. <laughs> yeah. And it worked for you? I mean, in my house, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in my house, in she my created a, she created a fan base at home. Yeah, in my, in my elementary school. Uh, but I took that, and and then uh, not too long after that, they they started like a actually I want to say I was a part of instrumental on that. Uh, started like a, a talent show series at oh, my wow. elementary school. And um, and I was rapping at those every week. My very first one, <laughs> my very first one that I did, uh, all the guys had like a break dancing and, and a pop locking routine. And I was supposed to be the big reveal. I was supposed to be mm -hmm. the girl to come out at the end and rap. And I forgot my lines. <laughs> I, got, oh, man. I got on stage and oh, I just saw everybody and got like stage fright and I just <laughs> I just ran off the stage crying and shit. No way. Yes, I did. So that never like made you like I don't y'all I don't think I'm built for this. No, that made me say fuck that. It's next, over. next, I'm I'm about to write my next rhyme tonight, and I'm gonna make sure it's memorized by the next week show. Mm -hmm. and, and I just been yeah, been I've, going, I've been on a roll ever dope. since. That that's, was like my actual like me like question. You always you right, always right, like when series. you first started. You always was on some real lyrical bat. I kind of feel like you was a battle rapper. Like you kind of have battle. I was. Well, I mean, you know, bat the battling then was different from the battling <laughs> yeah, yeah. now. Like, battling then was, like, who had the most raps. Like, I could outlast anybody in any cypher. Like, that was, that was like, you won. Like, the first mm, person yeah, to run yeah. out of raps, you know, it was it like, lost. we won, yeah. So, um. Cause when I hear you, when I hear your shit, like I told you off camera, that freestyle, I watched that freestyle earlier today. I don't remember what, what's the name. It, it was a, a grind mode cipher. I, I, I don't know. It's something that they do annual. I it was like and, grind time or grind mode. It's grind mode, something but like they that. what they do is they they actually have you recorded in advance, oh, like it's pre recorded. Re, yeah, it's pre it's pre recorded, oh. like like you doing a song, but you don't hear like I didn't hear anybody else's verse, and then when you get you know oh. when you show up in person, y'all all. Like I guess the engineer just put everybody verse together and then you and show you just up, lip sync it. You show up and yeah, so that that mm. was like. A, well, just to let you know, like I said off camera, it was shot and I'm gonna make it work. You body the niggas. Well, I get that a lot. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but you did. I'm gonna keep it. A, I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you. I don't even think I finished hearing all of them because I fast forwarded, but I went back. Oh. I went back just to hear. And I'm like, all right. I fast forwarded just to your verse. I heard this shit. I'm like, oh, she. She went in. That's always my Then goal, I went though. back. Then I went back. I'm like, ah, right, let me hear these dudes. Because a lot of times, I don't want to come over like I'm racist or nothing. But when I see like white rappers, I don't expect them to be good. Mm -hmm. So when I seen there's like a bunch of white rappers before you, I'm like, oh, I'm about to fast forward. They might just, they all going to be little baby M&Ms. So let me mm -hmm. fast forward and go to you. And when I went to you, I'm like, yo, she did her thing. Like, I'm like, damn. And then I went back to the baby M&Ms and I'm like... All right, they not Eminem status, so you definitely body them. Eminem minis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, but that's that's what he inspires. He inspires a bunch of that. Like I think I was having a conversation with one of them, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, like trying to like convince me that he, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hip hop. I I such and such." And then, I'm like, "All right, who's your I'm like who's your favorite rapper?" Eminem. He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm like, "Got They're it." They're not gonna say Lord Jamar. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> got it, dude. 
Got it. Got it. Like so, y'all know no other rap outside of that. Got apparently, it. apparently, Eminem and Lord Jamal's not beefing no more. Nah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. So we, we, I think we sparked the end to that. Nah. <laughs> so um, how did you meet Buster? Um, I met Buster. Actually, I met Bust one long time ago. I met Buster in a um in an outsider session in a Young Z session. Like I know I've heard Buster tell stories about kind of like uh, going through studios and just kind of seeing who working and seeing whose project he could be a part of. Like that. Oh, was, so he scouted for that, you? That no, 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 no. Uh -oh. That was his early like. Please listen to my demo. Mm -hmm. You know that was something that he was doing to get himself out there. Mm. So I guess in in those times I met him. He came into a session that I was in that uh, Young Z was doing. Uh, KRS One, uh, KRS One was in there with us. He he was on, he was doing the hook, and Buster ended up on the intro. That was my first time like meeting him in the physical. Fast forward, I was signed to Q-Tip already on Electra Records, and and unbeknownst to me at the time, Tribe Called Quest was splitting up, and. I, but I didn't know that. Like I was just Q-Tip's new artist, and I'm just like blowing them up every day. Yo, dog, what's up with my album? What's up with these beats? I don't like that beat. This ain't one. That ain't one love. I, I would like time. where where are my beats that I signed to you for? So I was just basically like getting on his nerves, <laughs> and so he reached out at some point. You he sat down and had a conversation with Buster. Was like, yo, you know, I got this female artist she's dope she's driving me up a fucking wall and he was putting together a flip mode squad flip at the squad. time he's like i think her like her energy and just her aggression i think she would probably be a better match you know with with your crew than mine and it definitely did it, it meshed up pretty good and i ended up uh I ended up on he was working on he was working on the When Disaster Strikes album. I, I wasn't and I wasn't signed to Flip Mode yet. Um, he was working on the, the Disaster Strikes album, and I ended up in the studio that day, and I just jumped on a posse like he 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 was doing a Flip Mode posse joint, and. I just so happened to show up at this uh, at the studio on this day, cause now you know now I got the green light that I'm gonna be working with Buster. So now I'm going to Buster Rhyme sessions every day. Like, yo, dog, listen to this. Going in. Yo, listen to this. <laughs> yo, this, you know. Are you I'm, doing it to Buster? Yeah. Or just people? Oh, no, what, to Buster. What he what he what he said to you? Um, he like, hold on, I'm in the middle of work, and I'm like, I right, you you just get back to your shit. Listen to my shit. I mean, you know, I was I was hungry. Like, I wanted yeah, my album ahead. out. Like, yeah. I, I don't care what you doing. Like, listen to my shit. I just hopped the path all the way from New Jersey to play this for you. You're gonna listen to it now. Mm -hmm. So, um, you ever got you anybody ever thought that you was from Brooklyn? People, all, I think everybody thinks I'm from New York. I think as, I like, swore you was like from as East much New York as or I, Brownsville because you act as hard much as I hard. rep Jersey. I didn't said it in the movie. I didn't said it probably on every song on the album. I think people people just associate me with Brooklyn because of like Busta and Flip Mode, and you know, I, the Spliff is from Brooklyn. Busta from Brooklyn, like mm -hmm. all of those guys are from Brooklyn. You sound so. like you're from Brooklyn too. Yeah, word. I, I'm dead serious. Like I thought, I thought, yo, I always thought you was from Brooklyn. I always thought Red Man was from Brooklyn. Y'all act. Like y'all act like Brooklyn, like Brooklyn people for real, for real. Maybe Brooklyn people act like North niggas. I don't think that. Maybe. <laughs> I, 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 I know. I, maybe. I don't know. No, could no, be something. No, could be nothing. No. I don't know. No, no maybe. Yeah. Maybe y'all. Maybe y'all a baby brick city. Are you Brooklyn? Yeah, all day. Brooklyn. Brooklyn and he's, break, he's Brooklyn adjacent. No. <laughs> no, I was born in Brooklyn, raised Raisin in Queens. Queens. So, I mean, we I don't know. I we, we might be cousins because Brooklyn keeps on taking it, right? You know, Brick City was the was the home was the carjacking capital. So we and just, I think it might just, still be. He's taking it Queens too. So you know, I, I think it's might still a be. competition of who taking who taking it the most. Nah, it's definitely <laughs> grimy out there in Newark, though. Yeah, not turning up out there. They, they the trying to gentrify it a little bit, oh, but they, but they can't seem to get past that Martin Luther King Boulevard. If you had to um, pair with another female artist uh, to do a record, who would it be? Hmm. I like Shauna. Shauna. Mm. 
Sean got bitter the dars. Yeah. Okay. Sean, I, I think I just saw something recently from. Oh Shauna. yeah, yes. no, Shauna mm-hmm. is consistently rapping into the damn camera. Go, we talking about go. Shauna from uh, Shauna Lee DTP. Yeah, yeah. yeah, check yeah. check Shauna okay. check Shauna out. Uh, Shauna is probably one of the only. One of the la- I ain't gonna say only, but probably one of the last females from my era that still like mm. got it, and 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 I can I can one hundred percent vouch that she write all her raps. Mm. Mm. Okay, and so, that's important too because I value like people that know how to write their own raps and freestyle, you know, and you know you're not afraid to to do both. So like, well, I, what I, I will say, that. I won't. You know, I'm not. I won't necessarily condemn you for not being the nicest off the head because I know a lot of people that write. If you're a writer and you write really well, mm-hmm. you know, like a lot. If a lot of thought goes into your writing, you might not be the nicest off the head. Mm-hmm. Like I don't expect Nas to be the nicest off the head. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you write like that. If you're like if you just stuff. like if you just you know if you're just like kicking it in a in a cipher or something. But yeah. I don't I don't expect I don't expect your your freestyling to all to necessarily match your match right, your you written right, yeah, yeah. right. And the goal is to be the nicest all the time. Right. So even you know, freestyling like I'm not gonna. So what I'm so what I'm so what I'm saying is. I'm not going to I'm not going to condemn you if you're not the nicest freestyler because you're you know you're Better more of a of more of a writer nor am I going to give you a pass for saying some mediocre shit just cuz you just made it up on yeah. the spot. Mm. Mm. I was ill. I ain't even yeah. know you. I was kind of that's I mean, facts. <laughs> some people are doing like rappings as freestyles. I don't like that. I like like the straight off, you know, the dome. But that's what they were doing back then. Yeah. Well, but see, but the, now but, they write but see, calling the freestyle. No, but see, like the that. key is, the key is, I mean, this is all, you know, this is all part of your mastery level mm-hmm. as well. Right. You have to know how to, even if you have bars stored right. in your Rolodex, you have you have to learn how to be switch and changeable and spit it on the fly to make it apply to, apply to yeah. right. 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 So right. whatever also, situation is going on. You have to understand and know hip hop history and I'm tired of people that say that an off the head is a freestyle. It's two different things. Right. Off the, off head, the yeah. head and freestyle it's, are two different, two different things. Different things. Mm-hmm. Please allow me to explain. When you go off the head you are making it up as in the moment. As you go. That's off the head. A freestyle, right? Mm-hmm. For especially for a artist who makes records, a freestyle is a rhyme that is not something that you've recorded on a record, right. and that it is written though. It is something that is right. written, but it was not recorded on a record, and it's something that you're hearing now, probably for the first time. Right. Um. But it's it, definitely something that I have not recorded before. Yeah, it's and not. So now you're hearing it for the first time, but it is written. So there's a difference between off the, the head tap, yeah, and, and freestyle. He's right though. Please and that's what that. and that's what I'm talking so about. I see, off the head. See, to, see now what he now what he just explained to me. To me, that's acceptable mm-hmm. because you're still able to be swift and changeable in that moment and go with the flow. But you are. You are mindful enough of your MC ability that right. I want to say the freshest shit possible. I'm not gonna say a bunch of hog nog blog blog just so because I got written that just, you've never, never heard. heard just because I'm making yeah. it up in Those that are moment. Like freestyles. The written that you haven't heard before are freestyles. Freestyle, yeah. Mm. Off so, the head so. is when you're just trying to show, oh, and I could do this like right now type of shit like that's cool but a lot of airhead shit comes out of that, out of that. not exactly. the best um thought most thoughtful uh lyrics come right. from mm-hmm. off the head and i i personally always want to hear the best i don't mm-hmm. care if you're making it up as you go along no, that's, that's, it, 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 right off now the there's a, i still want to hear him he's way better yeah. when he writes right yeah. now there you know there are there are rappers, not a lot, but there are rappers that are 
uh, you know, that are Crazy real, with. that are really you got, good. Ones. You got Charlie Clips. Re- you got a lot. Rest of in mm-hmm. peace, Juice World. He was the shit. Off oh, the head. Word? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Juice World oh, was word? was nice yeah. off the head. Yes. Oh, shit. Check, go check out some of his stuff. Check. Uh, I mean, I, I want to ask you because I know we pass it, but I, I really want to notice. Like, Battle rap why, disaster too. Shout disaster out to him. fire. Yeah, word. off the head. Like, why did Flipmo break up? Flip mode, I mean, it just got to a point where our our movement as a crew just, you know, hit a brick wall. We we recorded albums that ended up not coming out. We got dropped off uh, the label J Records. And at that point, it just kind of like everybody just had to pretty much focus on their own solo ventures. Uh, Buster went and signed to Aftermath. Um, I... Uh, focused more on my crew the, the outsiders I started doing more stuff with them and um, a lot of the you know I think Sham baby Sham he had seemingly retired at one point I mm. think he had completely stopped rapping I mean Rampage still do his thing like he he did he I know he still records I know he still does shows we, we've actually done some shows together very dope performer by the way Oh, very dope. Dope. I mean, you know, everybody's just on their own Damn quest. Thing. Like, and then um, most recently, we actually came back together, recorded a, a another album, like around 2018, and that's you know that's still sitting in the tuck waiting to oh, come y'all out. Did, so. so y'all didn't drop it or nothing? Nah. What y'all waiting on? It's not y'all. It's like that's that's flip mode is Buster Rhymes yeah. imprint like. It'll drop when, you when know, like, right. he controls that situation. So, it's like, it's whenever... Like, it's going to be the de- the new Detox album. Whenever he, you know, <laughs> gonna be when, when whenever he, he deems it ready to go. So, I mean, it been ready to go. This is one of my favorite artists. And you have a song with her. Lauren Hill. Hmm. Explain okay. that record. How did that come about? Um, well, You're I mean... You're the only rapper with her, right? You're, like, the only female rapper that... That ever collaborated with Lauren? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes. I mean, at the time, when, when we did that Cowboys joint, uh, that was myself, Young Z, Pace One. Outsiders, it's like the Outsiders meet the Fugees. But you know, the Fugees now weren't the Fugees then. When we did that record, they were just some other rappers from, you know, from Newark. And back then... Oh, they we, from Newark, too? Well, the East Orange, it's like, it's all, you know, it's all adjacent, North yeah, Urban City, East Jersey Orange. got a lot of artists. Yeah. I mean, when when we did that, like, we were on our, like, walk the streets every day. Look, who trying to battle? Who trying to battle? Up, Cypher, you rap through there. We got a Cypher. And then, you know, trying that was... to be the best, number one and all. That was mm-hmm. our battling. But the Fujis weren't necessarily battle rappers like we kind of looked you know we looked at them as musicians Musician, like they like, yeah. they were the artsy you know the artsy fartsy rappers mm-hmm. if you will and uh, we ended up doing a joint um, out uh, the outsiders and and, and uh, Z they were signed to um, was that rough house Columbia and uh, and Z was actually the opening act for the Fugees. So they got that, you know, they had that relationship and they're like, yo, my crew, such as that, it just, it just fit. It was like, okay, let's, we got two guys and a girl over here, two guys and a girl over here. And then I don't know whose idea it was for us to come to maybe uh, Wyclef, uh, Wyclef and Z probably put that together. But next thing I know, just ended up in the, you know, the infamous Booger basement. And we got in our corners, you know, me and Lauren in this corner, Clef and, and, and uh, Pace in that corner, Proz and Z in that corner. And we just, like, really, it was like Lauren and I versus the guys. So we, was just oh, de- we was just determined to have, like, the better versus. We didn't know what they was doing, but, like, <laughs> it's always, <laughs> you know. I don't know, what, yeah. I don't know what the other guys was doing. You know what you was doing. Yeah, though. it's like, it's just always, like, my goal, like, first I'm going to find out what the song is about, you know, make sure mm-hmm. I'm on topic and everything. But in my, you know, anybody that does a record with me, you should always know my goal is it's to always have the better verse. If I can hear y'all verses in advance, I will. I don't give a fuck what it takes. <laughs> I will not lose. I want the best verse. <laughs> So let me ask you a question, right? Like I watched, I watched, I watched a lot of your videos, and 
you were like super feminine dressing. You was looking good in the videos, and then your look did not match what was coming out your mouth. Why? What? 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 To, what made you say I'm gonna take more of the lyrical approach opposed to me doing what the typical females do? They rap about their body, y'all. Uh, my booty fatter than the other booty. Uh, my girls ain't even. Well, for one, when I first came out, I ain't had no booty. So, <laughs> <laughs> try to rap about booty. It was like, I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> made zero sense to me. But, no, but uh, in all honesty, like, I was studying MC Light. I was studying Queen Latifah. I was studying Roxanne Shantae. Like, that's all I knew. And, you know, that was who I was studying on the female side as far as, like, how to approach this as a female. Like, those were my you know those were my blueprints as far as like the rapping itself like the words that was coming out of my mouth i was studying krs1 mm. and kooji rap and um uh wait kooji and rakim like from rakim i said i i figured what i what i got from rakim was okay rapping is always supposed to be serious you're never supposed to smile you're never supposed to be happy you just always have to look serious. So that's mm -hmm. that's what I you know that's what I got from Rakim, and then from from uh, from KRS One I got the I battle you I battle you I battle you, and then from like I can't lose a battle ever. So I got that from KRS, and then Kooji Rap he just rhymed Kooji every rap fucking is, thing. Yo, like we were just, we literally just listened to his new album like he just rhymed every like every word yeah. of every bar of every syllable of every stanza just rhyme 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 like that's that's what i picked up from kooji rap like i can't just rhyme the last two words of the bar like if i can make the four syllables rhyme if i can make the last four words rhyme if i can rhyme four bars instead of two bars if i can rhyme eight bars instead of the four bar shit if i can make the whole 16 Damn. bar all in the same rhyme scheme like that was my challenge that i learned from kooji rap so take all three of those things the aggression the actual rhyme scheme pattern and the never smile <laughs> so all of that and now, Earth. but now I'm a girl. So how do I do that, MC Light? Yeah, yeah, you had. To. Yeah, and it, you know, Shante, the the female version of the battling, MC Light, the you know the the serious part, mm -hmm. and um, and and all of that just kind of, and Queen and Queen Latifah was the I am a queen. Mm -hmm. I'm not a bitch. I'm not a hoe. Not a slut. I'm a queen. So all of that birthed Rod Digger. So now, when I'm actually on the main stage, now the prototype has shifted. Now it, now Little Kim is the, the you know, the prototype for a female I'm seeing. And I was kind of like, huh? Wait. I, that, how? A word? So it's like by the time, yeah, like by the time I came to the, the forefront with all of my MC light teachings now we somewhere else now we taking in the bud now yeah. we got titties out and it's like wait whoa I, I, I was absent that day <laughs> you didn't get the memo yeah yeah <laughs> so that was kind of like a challenge How did you feel about that though um I mean I wasn't I'd be upset I'll be honest with you you wasn't upset I, not necessarily upset I, I wasn't upset only because only because I never blame the artist. Like I'm never mad an, at an artist for doing what they got to do to better themselves in that situation. Like if that's what she, you know, if that's what she was propelled to do to get out of whatever situation she was in, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be mad at her for it. With that being said, I would probably be more mad at the powers that be. The like okay, but like now why you shut? Now why you choosing to shove that? down our daughter's throats why you know mm. what's where's the you know what happened to just being a well, fly being like girl? that when at that time when you was thinking that absolutely mm. absolutely i mean yeah no my, my my argument my beef is always going to be with the establishment my beef ain't never going to be with with, the with mine mm. wow that's crazy that was crazy so like what was it like like being a female coming into a powerhouse 
that's controlled more by men, like being becoming a rapper. Like what was it like being a female rapper, having to jump in a pool full of m predominantly men? It's a predominantly man sport. Well, I I was already used to it because that's how I, you know, that was my boot camp training the whole time. Mm. Like I was running around with my Jersey crew, the outsiders. Like that's what we we basically like battled for a living so I was already used to being like the only girl, girl in the situation and in my head it was always it was always important to me to have the best verse to to, to shit on niggas you know candidly speaking um, because I didn't want to be I didn't want to be a token chick in the clique or I didn't you know and my crew they will laugh you out the room if your verse is trash. Don't matter if you're a girl. Like, I, I didn't see, you know, I didn't see niggas, like, leave the studio damn near in tears. Cause, a word? Yeah, like, like, nah, that verse trash. And it took you mad long to write it. Like, not only was it, not only was it important to have the best verse, it was always a race to... Fat word. Who, yeah, like, who finished first? Like, damn, son, it's taking you mad long to write your rhymes and shit. Shit probably trashing. What, what is, look, look, motherfuckers, uh, snatch your paper and run Don't across the room. My niggas, but what the fuck is that? So, like, like, nah, like... That nigga's crazy. But, yeah, no, nah, like, you you would get... Like, what is this? You you rhyming track with black? Hey, man, you get this book. Like, motherfucker will ball your rhyme up and throw it in your face like Three this points. trash out of here like Word. so nah, I never want to no, shout out the outsiders like no that was some real shit. like imagine imagine you in the studio That's doing a song with somebody they just, come grab your shit read it out loud read it fucked up and then just ball it up and like just start airballing this shit I ain't gonna hold it don't even go like that <laughs> they don't even they them ain't even the lies Ron, you ain't even saying Word. what shit you right. right. I went to the sto st 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 store. <laughs> like, y'all, motherfuckers will. And, and I just, I never mm. wanted to be the butt of the jokes. So I just was mentally prepared for all of that. All that. Yo, so by the time I got with Flip Mode Squad, oh, I used to he be, was like, I used to be dragging them niggas. Like, and then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say any names, but there was one particular artist who Now you can say, you know, we ain't got no views. We don't get no views. <laughs> say it, man. <laughs> like, it's, comment, share, subscribe. No, you about to start to the you, you know, Listen, it's one <laughs> this it's, right, you in the comment section. I'm gonna upload it on YouTube or put it on private. I just wanna watch it. I don't care no, nobody. It's one yeah. check it. No, it was it was one I and I I ain't gonna I ain't gonna put him on blast, but it, there was it. one member in flip mode <laughs> that used to put all of us out the room. When it was time for him to lay down his verse, mm. yo, I used, to, I used to be trapped. I used to be, and it took him a mad long time. I used to be outside the door, like, how much longer, yo? Mm. <laughs> like, I used to do shit that, like, oh, niggas, yo, the niggas did not like me. Oh, I used to, man, be, I used to be showing my ass, but that's because that's what I came from and shit. Like, I used to, <laughs> like, I used to be the first one with my verse finished. Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna have the freshest one verse. Take. Like in the booth. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a one take one. because because one thing that's important to me, um, like I'm real big on the performance aspect of it after mm -hmm. the fact, and I feel like if you can't get through the verse in the booth, if you if you can't yeah. rock it from start to finish in the booth, how yeah. do you expect to do that in, in the studio? The so in the booth, you know, I'm going to learn like, okay, this is where I start to get winded. So let me take, let me remove a syllable out of here. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me remove a syllable. Okay. By the fifth bar, I start getting winded. Let me take, take a syllable that. out of it. Like if you work out all of those kinks in the studio, your stage show is going to be <laughs> yeah. impeccable. Yeah. See, what I would do is I would go in the booth and go over it in my head. Like I had to be in like first I would write it and then I go in the booth and say yo let me get in my space so they would play it mm -hmm. and I would be in the booth kind of just working it out in my head or molding it to how you you know be. yeah 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 and um and then I would probably I would probably say it out loud for mm -hmm. like a for like the you know the vocal level and then they would go to record but what what would happen most of the time is that 
when I would do my vocal level, it would be so perfect that the, the the engineer started the the engineer just started recording me from the rip. Like Without as soon as, yeah, like as soon as I would go in, because I would always just nail it the first time I say it out loud. But that's because I already worked it out in my head. Mm. But I but but writing it too, because I yeah. you know I I'm I'm a fan of the written. I tell everybody like, yeah, that's cool. You can go off the head, write your shit down. Mm. Write your shit down. I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. Write your shit down. The goal is to have the best, <laughs> the best verse, you know. Yeah. Uh, product. It. The best product. That's that means that, mean that means you gotta write it down first. If that means you gotta memorize it first, do all that shit. Be a virtuoso of that shit. Ain't nothing wrong with it. as long as you as long as it sounds good at the end. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's a fact. How, how do you feel about? female rappers today the female rappers today um some of them are actually figuring out how to be lyrical in this in you know in in this in this like sex pistol mm-hmm. uh genre that they've created for themselves sex pistol i never heard that in my yeah, life yeah i call the set it's, it's you got the you got the pow, sex pow. pistols and you right got now, the nubian like goddess <laughs> she said the nubian goddess you got, the, you, got, you got the sex pistols and you got the nubian goddesses so in the sex pistol realm um i'm hearing i'm 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 hearing the 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 capacity for lyricism um like there's a there, there's a few of them that i'm i'm like oh shit okay i, I fucks with that i like glorilla you yeah, like I can her? see her. I like no, Glover. I'm gonna Glorilla. tell you why I like Glover. Like like <laughs> no, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Glorilla. Come on, Glo- man. No, Glorilla. That should reminds make a, me. That should make a song called Next Week. She reminds me <laughs> of me at that age. Now I'm not. I'm not uh-huh. talking. I'm not. Like that no, I'm not. Shit. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about lyrical capacity. I'm just talking about attitude. Fuck that Her energy. I'm yeah. Skinny. I ain't got no ass. My voice deep as hell. Yo, you know, I, I saw some <laughs> shit where they said her and some other rap dude should trade voices because she got like a deep voice. And it's some rap. I forget who the rapper was. She like no, it's I'm some not. Light voice. She like no, I'm not getting no ass job. I ain't getting no nose job. Y'all gonna love y'all. Yeah, gonna, but you like her. You like her. I like her spirit. Yeah, but we talking about music though. What about her music? Do you like her, her music? Well, I only there's only I, I like the I like the song with Cardi and I like the like it's a it's what they what you, what the kids say it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Like I do. So the, you don't like Young M A? The two things. She, no, nice. no, Young M A got bars. Nice. She no, nice. she has bars. Oh, she has bars. But I but I I do like Glorilla. I'm saying no. I was saying of the Sex Pistol. Oh, okay. You, you know, you're yeah. asking about the female rappers yeah. of today, like. Mm-hmm. The majority of them are that, but I'm starting, I'm starting to accept it. it. N- not as, not accept it, because I mean, you know, everybody can do what they want. It's something for everybody. Like at this, you just, you, at this point, I'm beyond. No, that's not real rap. Like I just, I just don't care anymore. You starting to understand there's, the vibe. There's enough real rap out there that I can pay. I can focus on what I want to hear, and everybody else that can enjoy shit. the shit that they want to hear. But of the of the mainstream female crop of women that are getting shoved down our throats Mm -hmm. i am hearing more of an effort to be lyrical Hmm. like even even lotto yeah with all the leak reference tracks (laughs) she said with all the leak reference tracks (laughs) and i i i I like i like uh i like lotto as a person too I'm not. I don't. I, I'm not a fan of a lot of these, a lot of these rappers today. To be honest, I mean they all like all got the same vibe. It's it's what I what I what I don't like. I don't like that everybody looks exactly the same Sound. and sounds exactly the same and rap about the same shit and rap about the same shit. Like 
if you're gonna rap, I, I wish the girls would get more creative with the pussy. Like, could we just do something else? Like, I, I actually. Can you say that again. Like, <laughs> I wish they would just be a little more creative with the pussy. Like, uh -huh. uh, like it's, you might if, have if, to break that down. If every or... no, if every record is gonna be about the pussy, I want mm -hmm. them right. to. I want them to do something. Like, I told her. Like, teach her something. I told. I told the young female. I said, Yo, you know, you know uh, how you like me now. Uh, by Nas, you know, mm -hmm. the with the the he's, he's I'm like I'm a motherfucking gun, right? The whole story is like he's he's rapping from the perspective of a gun. I'm like, why don't somebody do that from the perspective of a pussy? pussy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like like do something, like do a something, creative, yeah. yeah, lyrically creative with the pussy, not just I fuck your man, I I pop it, I did, it, you know, mm -hmm. I got the this pussy, I did this, you know. Yeah. Like just yeah, I, I think check the only way, little, little more creative with the pussy. I don't think I think the only two records that came close to that was either Nicki Minaj or or Shen Fire. Them two. Nick, Nicki, Nicki Fire. Now Nicki got Nick Nicki got a lot of verses that I like. Nicki, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, she, she ill. She got a lot of verses that I like. She I, Ill. I I do wish I could hear more. I, I do feel like at this stage in her career. It it feels like she's still chasing that you know that billboard and stuff. Yeah. I I wish she would own her, cause at this point she's, she's like an OG. She an OG. Like I wish she would own her OG, OG status. Yeah, her her own her OG more instead of like trying to still keep trying to compete herself. with the little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like now you should be talking that grown woman shit the way. Jay Z like that not nah, not, not just not just grown woman shit but that gr shit, that yeah. grown woman ball, rich yeah, ball shit like fact. you should be talking that shit the way Jay Z is talking, talking that, that shit man, the way rich billionaire yeah yeah, yeah right. like I would I would appreciate more of that from her instead of like so, you still trying to roll around in the mud with the little so girls since, you since we talking about Nikki you think you think Safari wrote for her I think that's bullshit I don't think I don't think her. Safari wrote I I don't think Safari wrote for her. You ever I heard think, him rap? Yeah, I heard him rap. He's but trash. no, 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 no. But but here's the thing. I do think he played a part of being a hip hop mind for her. Like he didn't necessarily like he like because you always there's always someone like there's a there's a person Giving like creative most, juice. Most people yeah like most people have someone next to them that's like. Yo, you heard this? You heard about this, Nick? Like, he, even if he didn't write the rap, I could see him being a person like, Yo, you ever heard this nigga? Uh, that rap with Lil Bibby from from Chicago. They got this. They got this Faso Land tape. His name Lil Herb. Yo, this little. Yo, check this little nigga out. He fresh. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you think he was putting on game on certain things to make her create what she created. Um, possibly, yeah. So I think I, I think every girl has that. I think every girl like like I had motherfuckers that would not give me raps but like tell me what's going on in basketball and you you know what I'm saying like the boy yeah shit. but that's not helping you write though that's I mean, just somebody is, like oh you heard about such bars. no but she but I'm, but it, but it might inspire you to create a bar yeah like yeah. not like not necessarily write your rhymes for you but just kind of like let you know what's going on in boys brain um yeah, right. like yeah people used to like just tell me how funny i was and and i used to just be like we're like but i but i'm not a i'm not a tell a joke make you laugh you spontaneously funny it's, it's just i don't know i guess it's just my it's more like of a dry humor maybe like a curb your enthusiasm mm. type of personality because because i don't have like a a uh, a uh, a jokey personality like you know like I said from Rock Him everything mm -hmm. all I know is just hardcore. be serious yeah. yeah you know not even so much hardcore because I'm not necessarily the most hardcore person just 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 serious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it's a difference um so but but people used to be cracking up from my series. It's like yo, you don't even know how funny you are without even trying to be funny. You should really look into stand up. You should look in and then stand up turned into these show. You should really look into acting. Like I can totally see you doing. Blah, blah, blah. And then um, no acting classes. So I I got acting classes after that. What's crazy is when I 
<laughs> Once I started taking acting classes, I ain't never get another role. <laughs> I got two roles back to back. They're like, nigga, you're getting too comfortable. They <laughs> have one acting class. Like, I got thir 13 goals was the first role I got. And they were just, you know, they were just looking for, like, you played in a horror movie. Yeah. And they, you didn't die. They was just looking for like a nanny, like a baby. You know you're a legend for not die. The first black person didn't die from Oh, I asked the director, could yeah. I could I live? You're I didn't a legend want, for that. And see, but in my head, what's crazy is in my head, I wasn't thinking like of the integrity of the story. Like, can mm. you know, can I live for that reason? I was thinking like, yo, soon they send me home, the checks is over, the per diem is over. Oh. I was getting like two hundred dollars a day per diem. Mm. This is you know, this was like a multi million dollar Warner Brothers budget. They just give you only two hundred a day? Two for per diem? That's yeah. Oh, per no, diem. per diem. Oh. Not my check. Oh. Per diem. Go eat and wash your clothes. My bad. No, per diem. Oh, that's some chicken. Right. So Per diem's usually like thirty five. Thirty dollars, yeah. Yeah, no, I was getting two hundred a a day just no, just to, you know Just to pocket. Like do your laundry. Yeah, do your thing. Eat, yeah. Shit go go watch a movie when you know, shit like that. And in my head, I was thinking like, yo, I'm a milk this As soon as I get, as soon as I die, the per, I go home. The per diem is over. So, <laughs> so I asked the director, yo, please keep, please keep me on. Yeah, yeah. I said, director, you know, I, can I live? I, I said it just like that. Can I live? He was like, you know, he and um, produced by Joel. So he was like, you know, I was, we were talking. Joel and I were speaking about that because. Cause it feels like like now you're like part of this family. It might be kind of yeah. to audiences for you to die. So let me get back to you know we're gonna circle back to you. And he came back to me a week later like we decided to let you live. I'm like yes. Well, that's a first. Oh, my first time. <laughs> that was <laughs> ill. That's crazy. Yeah, but I, I was supposed to. So the scene where like the girl that the the woman that's supposed to be saving us mm -hmm. uh, gets crushed in the wall, that was supposed to be me. Wow. Damn. So I guess they they had explored, you know, they explored an alternate like a multiverse, <laughs> like a, a alternate universe where like I ended up being one of the bad people working with the uncle. Mm. So yeah, there was there was I guess for a while they kind of toyed around with the idea of me being the one that like you know was betraying, betraying the, family the family and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh. then they was like, ah, oh, that's I, then I guess it just didn't work out in the writing room. It was weird to them. But so then mm. they were just gonna end up having me discover the plot early and then die. Like right as I discovered it, before I was able to to find the rest of the family and tell them what was going on, like I was gonna catch the uncle on some shit, and I guess in the process of, of chasing him, I was gonna get caught in that door. And that would have been the end of the two hundred dollars. That would have been the end of the, the fourteen. <laughs> no, no, that would have no. been the end of the fifteen hundred, fourteen hundred a week per diem. I'm like, no, no, uh -huh, man, no, no, we got. We got. We look, look. We gotta get in the group chat about that. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> That's crazy. So for black folks, if you don't want to die in the movie, just ask to stay on. That's it. <laughs> but <laughs> see, but here's it. the thing: you can't just say, "Can I live?" You got, you got to be make it make sense. You got to be important. You got to be. See, important, I made myself man. important. Like I wasn't just, you know, I just wasn't a little. You what know? made you stand out? Was you like accentuating your lines a little bit more? Or? I well, I, I improv most of you it because I when I did the audition. Improv is off the head, right? Absolutely. Improv is yeah. off. Now that improv no, is off, off the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not lines that I memorized and, and remixed. No, no, no. At literal improv, like making shit up on the fly. Mm. Um, I had I did that in the audition because um, interesting story. So I go out to California um, to audition for a baby boy. Oh, baby whole, boy! Whole nother movie. I get, you know, I get the call from my agent, like, "Yo, um, not Taraji's part, the best friend." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Okay, homegirl instigating homegirl from the hood. How hard could that be?" I, I, I pretty much went out there knowing that I had that role in the, in bag. the bag. So I, I go out there, I audition for that role, 
And then on the way back home, now I, I didn't get word yet if I got that role, mm -hmm. but I, uh, but on the way back home, I get uh, a call from the agent, like literally, probably as I'm on my way to the airport, like, think you can squeeze, what time your plane leave? You think you can squeeze in one more audition? Now, mind you, I'm hungover. I'm so hungover. Like, I knew it was my last night in town you just got jiggy man. i had like a 6 a.m flight so i just did one of them i'm a vamp all night nice. and just go straight oh. to the airport type shit. so oh, he called man. me he called me i ended up like pushing my flight back and so now i'm up like all night Damn. hung like drunk wearing off hung over mm. i gotta go in this audition like i'm so like i'm just literally fucking stoned and i got in this room and i i kid you not the words were literally like moving, moving off the page like i wow. could i couldn't mm. i couldn't understand it i was like yo i can't i tried a couple of lines mm -hmm. i'm like yo i can't do this i can't read this I, and i just put the paper down i was like can i can we can I ad lib? Like, can I? Can I can't? I can't read this. And it wasn't really much of a script for me because I believe they were looking for maybe like a non English speaking. They wanted like oh, the wow. not. They wanted like the non English speaking housekeeper. It wasn't. It wasn't so much written for like English the sassy yeah. black babysitter. It was more like a. Huh? Yeah, man, what's going on? Yeah. Me not speaking the English. You know, they, yeah. they were kind of trying to sell the... And the script looked like that. Like, it wasn't... There mm. weren't any real clear-cut definitive yeah. lines for me to recite. So, that in conjunction with I'm drunk still, I just put the paper down. Like, I'm going to ad-lib. And before I boarded the plane, my agent called me back like, yo... You got it. They love that shit, and oh. I, I was I was well, I was on I was about to go on tour. I had to go home. It was it was the weekend, and that was a Friday. So I had that weekend to prepare myself. I got that call on Monday. By Wednesday, I had to be in set. <sighs> like five six months. A word? Yeah. So that two hundred was coming for that long. I, I, I had to. Uh, yeah, every day. That separate that on that's, top of the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah like Come separate on. from the actual <laughs> check. The check that I Come got on. from the road. Yeah. Say that then. I mean, mm. that was what? <laughs> yeah. Plus 200 of them things? Yeah. Oh, you came up. I, I was up. That was that was I mean, that was my first. That was it. Like I thought I made it. That was like my first time ever in my life seeing seven figures. <laughs> It's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and 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 really didn't have to. Well, by the time, well, it seven seven figures turned to six figures by the time you know management got they could they, yeah, they yeah, got yeah. they could. But it was still some good but, bread. Oh, it was great bread, and I didn't have like the per diem was basically like living off the interest. Like I didn't even have to touch it. Like that shit could mm. sit. Well, I just, you know, I lived off. I was paying bills back home in the hood with, with the fucking That's yeah. a good mess Hell yeah. And then, Are you still, like, do you still receive residuals from that movie? 13, or? Every shit. Do you see how they play that movie in October? <laughs> that shit is a hot, is a, <laughs> I mean, it ain't, you know, it, of over the years, you know, it the residuals down, but, yeah. go down and down. But every October, like, every you know, the, I, there's October, and then by the time they tally up the the shit, like it always jumps it back jumps up. Crazy, you know, like December, January, and then um, and it, it like it went through cycles. It was like okay, this was the movies, oh, and then the blockbusters, and then yeah, yeah. It, and then it spike, and then it'll dwindle again. It's like oh, now it's cable, now it's on mm. TNT and sci-fi, and it'll go up and come back down, and then Netflix, you know, and then it became a streaming thing, and then, mm. then it spike and it'll go down, and and now it just plays every October, so every October, it just, so it's like every, every new outlet that came out, it just and, like yeah, brought it up and. I also got the title track of the, you know, I got the theme song so of the soundtrack. Movie. Yeah. So that's a, you know, now that's the, it's the same thing happening on the music so side. It's like the ASCAP does this. Oh, now here comes Sound Exchange and mm. it goes up. Right. And it, so now nah, it's 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 the gift that keeps on giving. Beautiful. <laughs>
So you any new music? Music. Now, I don't have anything like Rashid Rod I'm about to say I'm about to just spill my whole government, right? I don't have any <laughs> Rod Digger music mm -hmm. out. Um, I have done a shit ton of features. I do got some brain children though. Like I've been toying around with the idea of like a, a what I call a hood house, where like the house classics that we love in mm -hmm. Jersey, like I, I be flipping them shits, and they like people in the hood like them. Like you'll find them in on anybody's uh like hood cookout mixtape mm -hmm. and shit. Like oh shit, nigga wrapped over there this pharaoh. Oh shit, nigga, you know I I do that. Um. I probably oh, just not looking at your shoes. Them joints is nice. Oh, I thank you. Damn, you styling. I'm not trying, you know. Nah, you ain't trying. You doing it. Yo, the interview was crazy. Dope interview. Although we gotta finish it, I want I want you to come back though, cause I feel like you got more to say. Yeah, absolutely. Like you got a lot more to say. I am yeah. 25 plus years of just walking, talking, breathing mm. hip hop. It, it, there's no amount of camera time or memory card time that could, <laughs> that could <laughs> hold what I've seen and the shit that I Any Rod Digger that podcast? I have to shit. Um, hey, I mean, anything's possible. I mean, you know, as right now, you can catch me alongside Lord Jamar uh -huh. on the United you know I Mean, mean? Guy cast. <laughs> shameless plug. <laughs> shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> How did that, matter of fact, I know we got in. How did that come about? How did that come about? Yeah, just quick. Just um, we got ten, ten two seconds. Two seconds. Second, yeah. So um, during my time of not thinking about Iggy Azalea, oh. someone <laughs> someone referred to me as the female Lord Jamar because he was going through a similar situation with Eminem. Oh. And, and, and someone added both of us on Twitter like, "Oh, you you're a hater. You're like a female Lord Jamar." And then I put. Nah, he's still Public Enemy number one, but I'm <laughs> but I'm a strong second. And then he chuckled, and then we just started. Batman and Robin. And then we just, you know, started kicking it behind the scenes. Uh, the, the brother reached out to me like, "Yo, you know, we kind of like minded, and and right. uh, you know, we should try." Well, uh, initially I was a guest, and then like the views shot through the roof of that yeah. episode. It was like, "Yo, we need to do this regularly." And and, and smart idea though. That and, was a great. And, and, and there I was. Good idea. Yo, like I said, it's your boy Giovanni. It's your boy Lavis T. <laughs> digga, digga. And you listen to 371 Podcast. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Now. Peace.